Okay, so we're adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing using significant digits. So when you're performing um, arithmetic, it's important to remember when you're using the, the proper number of significant digits that uh, your result can't be any more precise than the least precise measurement. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's have a look. If we had, if we had 24, oh, get that out of there. Sorry about that. 24 decimal 686 liters plus 2 decimal 3 decimal 343 three meters and we add to that 3 decimal 21 meters. Now let's just add that all up first of all before we start looking at this 30 decimal uh, 239 239 meters. Okay, now let's have a look. Now this is measured in tenths, hundreds, thousands, tenths, hundreds, thousands, tenths, hundredths. So your answer can't be any more precise than your least precise, and your least precise here is measured to the hundredths. That's two decimal places. So our answer is going to be expressed to the hundredths or two decimal places. This is a three. You've got to look at rounding. Look at the next digit. In this case, it's a nine. So that's going to bump that three up to a four. And we would say 30 decimal two four would be our answer. Okay, now the same applies with subtracting. Your answer can't be any more precise than your least precise. Now, how does this look when you're multiplying or dividing? Let's have a look at this one here. Three decimal two two times let's just say that's in centimeters. Three decimal two two that's not very neat, is it? Three decimal two two centimeters times two point one centimeters. Multiply them together and you end up with a product of six point seven six two centimeters squared. Now, when you use significant digits here, here's what we look at. Now, we're not worrying about decimal places, as was the case when you're adding or subtracting. Here, we are actually, you have to know your rules for significant digits. Here, you're looking at the precision of the instrument. Down here, you're counting your significant fig figures or digits. There's three there. And there's two here, so your answer can't have any more significant digits than the small, in terms of your factors here, the smallest number of significant digits. In this case, it's two. So we would say that we would need two significant digits in our answer. So there's one, there's two, and I need to look beyond to uh, round. So then I would say in this particular instance, using the proper number of significant digits, we would have six decimal eight centimeters squared, two significant digits, and of course that matches up with my factor with the fewest number of significant digits. Okay, now the same rule applies when you are when you are dividing. Okay, uh, in this case the quotient, your answer, your result is going to again um, have the same number of significant digits as your least amount in your original problem. So let's have a look at an example here as well. Let's say we have 36.5 meters and we're going to divide that by 3.414, let's say, seconds. 
Now when you divide that out, you end up with 10 decimal 691, and that's going to be in meters per second. Okay, now let's have a look here. Three significant digits here, and we have four significant digits here. So this is our smaller number in terms of significant digits. So what we would end up having in our answer is three. So we have one, two, three. There's where I'm going. And of course, same as before, we're going to look at the next number. And it's a nine, so that's going to bump that six up to a seven. So using the proper number of significant digits, my answer would be 10.7 meters per second. Okay, hope that helps.